Sebastian loves the hamster knitting kit and this is our final video. Today we're going to learn how to stitch up the hamster and stuff it um, to make your brand new pet. So leftover things in the kit that we haven't touched on yet is uh, the sewing needle so we're able to stitch up hamster and there's some stuff in as well. You will need to get yourself some scissors here. So I've finished knitting the remainder of the rows and ticked them off as I've gone along in the instruction booklet so it looks a little bit like this. Still got all the 26 stitches on the knitting needle. So what we need to do now is get ourselves a fairly long length because obviously we need to stitch up the whole of the body here. So I don't know if you can see that about that much. Cut that. Don't worry if you cut it too short, we can always add in later. Um, as long as you knot it, it shouldn't come undone. If you thread your needle, I just find if I twist the end, it makes it a bit more pointier, then I'm able to thread it nicely. Hopefully. There we go. This bit's probably the trickiest bit because you've got to be really careful here because if any of these stitches come off and you haven't put your needle through it, um, you could potentially unravel all of your hard work. So uh, take it steady so um, we don't want to mess it up. So the idea is with the sewing needle is to go in to each stitch like that. You're going to pull it off of the knitting needle and pull the remainder of the wool through, pull it tight. So we're securing each stitch. You literally do that for every single, every single stitch there. Put it through. Down and through the middle. Pull it off the knitting needle, pull your sewing needle through. So I'll quickly do that and you catch up. Um, pause the video, play when you're ready, and then I'll show you the next section. Okay, so I thought I should show you from here. I'm on my very last stitch, and it's literally just like all the other stitches, nothing special. Exactly the same. Okay, so we don't need our knitting needles anymore, so they can go away. Um, so, as you can tell, when you start pulling it round, you start uh, creating um, his little bottom. Bless him, it looks really cute. Um, so that's great. That already looks like a hamster to me. So that looks brilliant. I'm really pleased with that. Um, problem is though, is when we stuff her hamster, we're going to have a bit of a hole so here. So what I like to do is, if you pull it apart just a teeny bit, you can see all the individual stitches again. See them there, moving around. I like to pick up um, a couple of those stitches around the circle there. Not every single one, sort of every third one or fourth one. Um, so as you go round, just pick them up. When you get to your last one, pull it right through. It just makes it that little bit tighter. You see that? That looks much better. Okay. You don't have to do that. It's just a preference on my part. Um, but that's how I would finish that fully. So this bit, hopefully you can see, it's a little bit dark today, but hopefully you can see, you've got the, um, the ridges that stick out and then you've got little indents. And I work with the ridges. Um, in future videos, I'll show you how to do it um, exactly, because uh, what I'm doing here is an invisible stitch, so you can't really see the seam as such. Um, that's the plan. But for beginners, I don't think you really need to worry. So as long as you get the ridges, you can see them working around around there, as long as you go through those. So um, I've got my first ridge here. So if you select a stitch from there, quite close to the seam line, because so obviously we don't want to make it too small, and pull the ball through. And then there's your other ridge there. So we'll select a stitch from there. And we're working up towards the head. So always put your needle going from the bottom to the top, through the middle of it, 
and just pull it all through. Only do one at a time because you're less likely to get yourself all knotted up. My next ridge line is here. Same thing again. Working left to right. So in like a zigzag. So we're going to zigzag across like a zip. And it will zip it up. Now you don't want to go all the way to the top because obviously we haven't stuffed the hamster yet. Um, so you need to leave a gap. So probably do a couple more stitches. I'll quickly do it. And then I'll show you how to stuff it. Okay, so I think that's enough of a, a hole there to be able to put the wool in. So if you unravel your bundle, this ribbon you can always keep for the end. Um, on some designs I like to put like a little ribbon around the neck and it looks quite pretty. So um, you can always use it for that. Pull off a chunk and just using your thumb, just push it in. Just push it in. You can shape the head. Give it a little squeeze. Obviously, we need a bit in the back here as well. You don't need to use all of it if you don't want to. If you think, actually, he's looking a bit porky, I'm going to um, not use all of that stuff in. Not a problem. Um, or if, like me, you like him a little bit plumper, then just go for it. Put it in. Um, I like to just give him a squeeze just to shape him up a bit. That looks like a happy happy hamster there so we still got our wool attached great that means we can just carry on exactly what we were doing before zigzagging across stitching up our hamster I'll continue doing this to the top here and then I'll show you how to knot it off and then I think we're done see you in a second okay one stitch away Last stitch, if I can get it, there we go. Okay, this last stitch, don't put it all the way through. Leave a loop. Sewing needle, goes in the loop. Now pull it through, pull it tight. And then go through that stitch again. Pick that one up. Leave a loop. Sewing so needle goes through the loop and just pull it through. That's just a really simple knot. Pull it tight, simply knotted. To finish it off nicely, because obviously we've got all of this, we don't want to cut it too close to the knot and risk it unraveling. Just put your knitting um your sewing needle, sorry, through here. It's a bit mean, but um I can't feel it. Put it right through the middle, put it tight with your scissors. Just, um, I pull pull on the, the wall quite tightly and pull down on the body and then I cut fairly close to the body, obviously without cutting it the, at the stitches. And then it just um, pulls itself back in because it's so taut, it springs back into the body. Another little squeeze up. There we go. There's Pip, our plump little orange and white hamster. Well done, guys. Any pictures, please share on our Instagram page or Facebook. Uh, the links are below. And be sure to subscribe, ready for next time. See you then.